Hey loves, it is Ashley here at Fire Intuition. I am here to do a no communication love reading for the month of July. This will be for the first half of July. Um, this is general. It is a collective reading, so it's for all the zodiac signs. Please do only take what resonates with you. I'm going to see um, why there is no communication between you and your person. There will be an extended reading. I will pin the link in the comments below. All right, so let's hop in, collective. Let's see what's going on. Let's see why there is no communication between you and your person for July. First half of July, guys, or whenever you guys hear this reading. On the side of me is my, um, well, on the side of me, these are my new sprays. These are my new chakra sprays. Um, all seven are available on my website, mytearsifeelmyheart.com. And I also have a new Get The Fuck Out spray and oil. So definitely check it out, guys. It is bomb. All right, so let's hop in collective and see what's going on. Let's see. Give me one second, guys. I'm sorry. All right, sorry, loves. I had to respond to that message, so I'm ready now. Let's see. Spirit of universe, messages for the collective. Why is there no communication between them and their person for the month of July? Messages for the collective. Why is there no communication between you and your person? All right, let's see what their current energy is towards you guys. When it comes to this person, what is their current energy towards you? The lovers in reverse with the five of cups. There could be a Gemini. A water sign, temperance, and reverse Sagittarius energy. All right, so there can be a Gemini or a Sagittarius that you guys are dealing with, but this person definitely is sad. All right, over some type of separation or some type of ending with you guys. There was some type of third party love triangle here, and with the Five of Cups, definitely that's representing a third party energy. Now, temperance and reverse can be that you guys are clashing, not getting along. It can be the separation between you guys, and maybe they didn't want to separate from you. But they felt like they needed to due to a third party um, that they had you in. So let's see what's going on with them. It's just whoever this, uh, whoever you guys are dealing with, they're very sad down right now. They're not happy at all. They are not happy due to the fact that you guys are not talking or there's no communication. All right. So let's see why the lovers is here in reverse. Let's see why is the lovers in reverse. Once the lovers in reverse. And this is, again, their current energy towards you. Why is the lovers in reverse? Once the lovers in reverse for this person. Ace of Cups in reverse. Yep, this is the breakup, the separation, the ending between you guys. I feel like whoever this is, they feel like they've lost you like forever. Or they feel like you guys are like never going to get back together. All right, this person is very down. Let's see. Why is Ace of Cups coming up in reverse? The Queen of Swords. Yeah. There definitely was a third party. Queen of Swords and the Higher Font. It's their marriage or some type of commitment. For some of you guys, it's not like a commitment. It could be that like their mother or someone that is, you know, like in their life is in between you guys' relationships. So it can be like a mother, aunt, a sister. And they feel committed to that person to where they're putting their family or that person before you guys. All right. Um, but for others of you, it is like a relationship that they are in. So let's go into the Five of Cups. And that's why they stopped talking to you. Um, due to that, so let's see. Five of Cups. Yeah, Five of Pentacles is coming up in reverse. They're trying to recover from this breakup. They're hoping that you'll forgive them and take them back and, you know, work on the relationship with them or work on the relationship and come back together. But as long as this Queen of Swords is here, that's, I'm not going to say impossible, but this is definitely someone that, is, there's definitely someone else in their life. Going to the Queen of Swords, the Emperor, yeah. The Nine of Pentacles. This is someone that they are committed to, but also want to be single from. Like, they want to be single, like, and out of this relationship. But they may have money or business or, like, finances tied to the situation with the Nine of Pentacles. Or they feel like the Queen of Swords will take them for everything they have. Um, but if not, it's like the Emperor is definitely wanting to get that person out of their life or end things and become single from this person. That's what I'm also getting here. So let's pull a Romance Angel and kind of see what their energy is towards you currently. Let's see, messages for the collective and no communication. So what is their current energy towards you? 
What is this person's current energy towards me? We have worth waiting for, but it came out in reverse. I'm gonna take in the upright. So it says divine time is at work in your love life. Now I'm reverse. It's telling me like with the worth waiting for in reverse, it's kind of seeing like they feel as if you're not holding on, like you're not waiting for them anymore. They just feel like it's over, it's done, it's a wrap, you know. But, you know, they're they're hoping that, like, you guys will come back together and work things out. Children may be involved um, with the children card. Your love life is being affected by children. So there could definitely be, like, a child involved, and that's how they're staying in this situation. Yeah, we have religious factors. So for some of you guys, it's like they didn't have a father, you know, growing up, or they're married or committed, and they feel like they have to be in that relationship and work things out due to a child. Um... Yeah, it could definitely be that. And again, I'm also, like I said, I'm also getting a third party energy of like a mother or like a sister or something. Like someone being like a mama's boy or someone needing to break, you know, away like. And like fully step into their power and just, you know, I guess break from the nest. Okay, so this is their energy towards you. Let's see how they are currently feeling towards you guys. We have the King of Pentacles, we have the Ten of Cups in reverse, and we have with the Two of Cups in reverse. Yeah, due to some type of committed relationship, you guys, it's like you guys can't seem to be together. Yeah, Ten of Cups is coming up in reverse. So, yeah. Let's see. And then we have the Two of Cups in reverse. This is the breakup. This is the soulmate connection, but there's some type of imbalance here. Um, let's see. Ace of Wands. And the Ten of Wands. Yeah, they want to start things up with you, but they have a lot on their plate. They have a lot going on. And with the Ten of Wands, I mean, that is something that is dragging or taking forever. But it's coming to a completion with the Ten of Wands. But still, it's like this person knows not to reach out or say anything to you until they know that they're in a position to actually, you know, commit to you or offer you some type of commitment. That's what I'm getting. It's like this person doesn't want to reach out to you for that it, because of that reason. Like, they feel like if they can't give you this new beginning or offer you something or, you know, give you what you want, they rather just not reach out and just stay to themselves. So, let's go out. Let's see how this King of Pentacles is here. The Seven of Pentacles, they are thinking about you. We have the moon. They think about you. They dream about you. They think about you guys being together. Um, the King of Pentacles, yep. They think about you guys being together, being committed, possibly being married to each other. They think about what the relationship would be like if you guys work together uh, is what I'm also getting. Mm -hmm. And then let's go into this Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. Why is it Two of Cups in reverse? Go into the Two of Cups in reverse. Two of Cups in reverse. We got the Hermit. Virgo Energy with the Strength Card in reverse. Ten of Pentacles. They didn't want to let go. They didn't want to lose you, let go. But they thought they had to, and it was due to, like I said, a committed relationship. Going to the uh, King of Pentacles, Three of Wands, Four of Swords, Reverse. Yeah, they're going to eventually reach out to you because they do want to move forward with you. Like, that's definitely on the back of their mind. With the Ten of Pentacles, we have the Two of Swords, Torn at a Crossroads, really needing to figure out their relationship, the relationship between you guys. And then we have with the Death card. Knowing that they are wanting to end the relationship with the person they're with, but then they also don't want to end things with you. But they felt like they needed to. That's what I keep getting. I feel like they feel like as if, or they feel as if they needed to end things with you for right now. So let's pull a romance angel to see how they feel. So we have attraction that came out in new love. So you were a new love that came into their life that they were attracted to. Okay? There is a lot of attraction here. We have the moon and we have the ten of swords. Yeah, there was definitely some deception, some deceit, some secrets, some lies. And I feel like they kept this relationship going until they got caught onto things like, you know, were exposed. Maybe that can be why you guys stopped talking. Messages for the collective for this person. No show. Yep. See, they haven't been showing up. For some of you guys, they even canceled. Like, a, oh, not canceled. You guys like planned a date and they didn't show up. Or they just have been like a no show. They're not like you know responding to your messages, answering your calls. It's just been like they're not reaching out. They're not saying anything. Yep. Secrets. So for some of you guys, you are their secret. Or this was a secret relationship. 
and then we have stop when we have signs and that is the reason why like i said they stopped talking to me and it was due to the fact that they were in another relationship and i bet you guys are getting red flags or there were some red flags around you but maybe you weren't paying attention let's go into signs the empress see a part of you kind of knew that they were committed or married and that they told you they weren't they were lying you know, you were kind of like, mm -mm. like, no, I know, I know they got a girl. I know they got a man. I know something, I know something is up in that situation. I know they're not completely being honest. I feel like you guys felt that. That's what your intuition was telling you. Okay. But they are definitely like sad and miserable and thinking about you. And they do want to communicate with you. Um, but the situation, like I said, is, is very difficult right now. And I don't really see them reaching out right this second. Um, but I feel like they will be. But we're going to definitely see in the extended. So in the extended, I'm going to see um, what they are hiding from you or not telling you. Um, their reason for no communication, which we already know. But I'm going to go a little bit more into that. Um, because the reading pretty much is just telling me like there's no communication due to the fact that there was third party. They were with somebody else or like, you know, committed to someone else. And as bad as they wanted to be with you, they couldn't because they were already committed to someone. But it's not just that they are committed to someone. It's a reason why. And it has to do with either finances or children or something like that. Either or. Okay. Um, we're going to see will communication come in. And if so, when. What is yet to unfold in the potential outcome of this situation. Alrighty, guys. So that is your no communication reading. Send you guys lots of love and light. The link to the extended reading will be pinned in the comments below. Alright. I hope to see you all on the other side. If not, I will see you guys in the next upload. Alright. Bye, fire family.